I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. I had a request come in from my wife. She said, can you split an image into a nine square grid so I can have a large collage on the Instagram feed? I said, yes, I did it for, and I thought this could actually be a good subject for an Inkscape tutorial because it goes over three key skills. I'll show you the tiling path effect, how to do clipping, and a batch export. If you're unfamiliar with what her request is, you see the Instagram feed here, it shows the squares. You can actually create a massive large panel like this and it stays like that until the next time you upload something and then it gets jumbled up like a puzzle let's go ahead and do it i'm going to open up a new inkscape all you need to get started is an image and she told me i can't use the one from her project so this mount fuji photo is from pexels i'll have a link in the description below the photographer was thomas malik if you're new to inkscape the way you actually get the image onto the canvas here it's a simple drag and drop so if i have this image right here in a fold grab it and drop it onto the canvas. You'll get a pop-up box. You can leave all the defaults the same and hit OK. Since we're gonna do a nine square grid, let's grab the rectangles tool. If you hold Shift and Control together, you'll open up a perfect square. And here's the first Inkscape tip. To make a quick grid, there's actually a path effect. Go to Path, Path Effects. In the search bar, you can type Tiling click on it and the default is actually three by three which is exactly what we want the only thing you have to remember down here click on split elements that'll make each square independent which is what we need when we stamp out the nine pieces you can try different settings with rows and columns but to lock it in grab everything go up to path object to path that turns off the path effect so we can use this now and not worry about things changing actually I do want to change the color so I'll grab everything again go up to object fill in stroke. Let's turn these green and we'll go to the stroke tab, take the stroke off. Now we can place it and decide where it should go. Once you have it where you want it, you're going to grab everything and we're going to make copies of this. Let's zoom way out. When you have everything selected, do control D, which is duplicate and keep duplicating. I'm sure I did a time jump there. I laid it out like this so it's super simple to follow along. Select one square. This will be the top left one. Hold shift, take the image, go to object, clip, set clip. Same thing for each position. Clip, set clip. And if you don't have time lapse, you'll have to do it one by one. That's okay. Now we have each piece that we want. We can bring them over. I just eyeballed it to line these up in order. I just wanted to give you a feel for the effect. You can use this for things besides Instagram. This could make a nice piece of wall art or you can add other effects on top of it. But here's a key Inkscape time saver. When you want to export these out to get them onto Instagram or use them anywhere, one of the newer features in Inkscape is a batch export. So we can do it all at once. I'll click each one, go up to file, export in the menu you want to go over to batch export I have it set to selection so it's only going to take whatever I have selected down here you can see the format will be PNG 300 DPI that's great but this folder I don't want to send it to whatever Rick Johansson bitmap is I'll click on that and I'll change where it's going to go I navigated to the folder I called nine panel Instagram for some reason it defaults back to SVG you have to change that so we'll go to PNG Let's name it Mount Fuji. Hit save, export. Let's pull up that folder. You can actually see them pop up in the folder as each one of them gets exported. The last part of this, I watched my wife do it just to make sure. You upload it the bottom right first. If you were doing this woman with a hat telling you to be quiet or whatever she's doing, you'd start at the bottom and go from bottom right, bottom middle, bottom left, because you want it to populate in the correct order so the top left is last. And that's about it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or want to see something on Inkscape, let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time.